everyone, I'm Sherry Gearhart from Tiara Magazine live in Orlando, Florida at the Pure American National Pageant and we have an ultimate national queen in our presence. We've had the lovely pleasure of interviewing all the different ultimate state finalists. So let's hear from our national ultimate queen. So what is your name, what is your age, and what is your title? My name is Brittany Sayer and I'm the 2014 Pure American Pageants Ultimate National Queen and I'm 23 years old. Beautiful. Now talk us through the process of what it takes to become an Ultimate Queen. That means you've been part of the organization, what, three years now or two years? Fourth year? Okay, tell us about those four years. Okay, well it all started back in, I believe it was 2011. It was either 11 or 12, not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was 11. Um, and I did my first prelim and I was Miss River Valley. Then I went on to get first runner up at Miss Ohio. And then I actually got to take the Miss Ohio title because our Miss Ohio won the national title. So after that, I decided to go for Miss West Virginia because I actually work in West Virginia and that's one of the ways you can do it. Um, so I went and I was Miss Point Pleasant, which is my hometown and then I went to win Miss West Virginia. Then at Nationals of 2013, I won Miss, uh, the National Miss. And then last year, I was able to win the Ultimate. And how you get the Ultimate National Queen is the same way you can do to win the Ultimate State Queens, which is you perform lots of community service, um, and you just have to have lots of leadership skills and be able to talk to people and just all around be a good hostess. So out of all the girls last year from the team and up I was chosen and I was the ultimate and you've probably I think you talked to Gigi who was my junior yeah. so yeah it's been lots of fun this year I've continued the community service and it's just been lots of fun talk about some of the community service that you're involved with Okay. Um, well, I'm involved with our national charity this year because we actually got to choose it, um, which is the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Um, they take care of people who might have a child or a close relative in the hospital, and the Ronald McDonald House provides a place for them to stay. It's kind of like a hotel, but kind of nicer than that and it just ha that way they can be closer to their family members so they don't have to drive back and forth because sometimes that can be a long ride um, and I'm also involved with March of Dimes because I in fact have a birth defect in my brain that you might not be able to tell from the outside but it's there trust me so I like to make sure that I help out with that to bring awareness to birth defects and hopefully prevent them and just lots of other stuff. We have lots of charities back home. Um, Cross Light of Hope, that's one of our local ones. They help out with needy families with clothing and food and just all the stuff like that. Great. What advice would you give to women and girls out there watching that maybe want to be in the position you're in today? Well, my advice is it's a lot of hard work, so be prepared to really work for it because if you want it bad enough, you'll work for it. But even if you just if, if, it shouldn't be your goal, let me put it that way. But if you want to try to achieve it, definitely be ready for the work. But enjoy the ride while you're working at it because it's, it's so much fun. Now when you say it shouldn't be your goal, I think what you're trying to say is the crown shouldn't be the goal. The community service is the ultimate goal. It's just giving back and the crown is just the beautiful perk. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. I, I'm really... It's amazing. The work you're doing is amazing. I'm blown away. Thank you.